It is customary in an ordination or installation ceremony to charge the congregation performing the ceremony. Today, there are three such congregations, and the charge is complicated by the fact that Ali's formal relationship with each of those congregations is different, and in some cases, rapidly coming to an end. Nevertheless, there are some things I want us all to do, four things to be precise. First, let Ali go and let Ali grow. Second, don't let Ali go. Yes, I'm contradicting myself and we will get there. Third, let yourselves continue to be transformed by Ali's liberatory ministry. And finally, stay connected to one another. First, let Ali go and let Ali grow. Is necessary, whatever our relationship with Ali has been, that we allow them to leave us well and to blossom into a ministry separate from the role or roles that they have had with us. Each one of our congregations needs to understand that Ali will continue to grow after they leave. Remember what Ali was like when we met them? and recognize that the growth that we have seen will not stop just because they're not among us. The next time you encounter Ali, they will be different. They will have grown. That is good. Second, don't let Ali go. Well, do let them go. But stay connected to them in ways that are meaningful, appropriate, and professional. Follow the best practices around not being in contact for a while and still and still proudly claim their ministry as one you helped incubate and start. Invite them back from time to time and revel, revel in the ways that they have developed and grown as a minister. You are all Ali's people and they are yours. And it is okay to treasure that knowledge in your hearts. While your relationship might have to be at a distance, it is still real. I think we're used to that by now, right? Mm. Third, let yourselves continue to be transformed by Ali's liberatory ministry. Whatever it is that Ali does tomorrow or next year, they have given all of us a gift. They have presented us a vision of liberatory ministry, of accountable anti-racism work, of self-determination, yes, Kuchi Chagulia, of the responsible and necessary use of power, and of the transformative power of love. Do not forget what Ali has taught us. Do not stop striving for the goals that they set before us just because they are not in our congregations anymore. Keep on moving forward as Ali would have us do. Finally, stay connected to one another. Now, y'all might not realize this, but the First Unitarian Church of Wilmington, the Unitarian Universalist Congregation at Montclair, and the Church of the Larger Fellowship, we have become connected to one another through the bond of Ali's ministry. We share a love for Ali that will not go away once they leave us. And so we need to stay connected. We should work on things together, making justice together, hosting joint events when events are a thing again, <laughs> sharing technology and tips and best practices and justice ideas, perhaps pulpit exchanges from time to time. Perhaps the folks in Wilmington and Montclair could partner with CLF in our Worthy Now prison ministry as free world pen pals to our incarcerated members or by hosting conversations about prison abolition that we would gladly participate in. You are invited to do that. Whatever the connection looks, sounds, and feels like, it is good that we are connected to one another. It is good that we will stay 
connected to one another. It is good to be changed by our connections, our connections made possible by Ali's ministry. It is good to continue to be changed by having shared our experience of Ali's ministry. May we deepen all of the connections that we celebrate here today. Blessed be.